trouble finding a man. Have you ever considered writing about that? Oh, that's a great idea. Hey, let me get a pen. After Sex and the City was nominated for over 50 Emmy Awards winning 7 and nominated for 24 Golden Globe Awards winning 8. You have no idea how many men I've had to sleep with to get this award. <laughs> After Sex and the City spawned two feature films, Sex and the City and Sex and the City 2, and prequel television series titled The Carrie Diaries. She didn't steal him from you, did she? I will put my boot up her butt. But she's your family. I don't count on family. After Sex and the City was credited with starting crazes for nameplate necklaces, Manolo Blahnik shoes, flower corsages, and visible bra straps. Sex and the City has been off air for over 15 years now, but many of us still live for rewatching the iconic series. Beginning its run in 1998, the comedy drama series enjoyed six seasons of solid ratings before ending in 2004. On January 11th of this year, fans, including me, were ecstatic to hear a continuation of the original. Sex in the City series was announced. And the sequel series will be titled And Just Like That and will feature the original stars with the exception of Kim Cattrall. So whether you rep nameplate necklaces or any of the many many trends Carrie Bradshaw and her posse rocked on the series, there's no denying that Sex in the City's influence was iconic. Like I said, many of us are still watching the show in current times and no doubt wonder what our friends Carrie, Samantha, Charlotte and Miranda are up to in real life. Hey guys, it's Carrie the Vampire Slayer and today we're doing a series titled Where Are They Now? We're taking a look at the star-studded cast of Sex and the City and what they're all up to these days. I mean, maybe you know what Sarah Jessica Parker is up to, but what about Cynthia Nixon who played Miranda? If you want to see more Where Are They Nows, let us know down in the comments who you want us to document next. How about some more hit HBO series? Or some oldies you probably forgot about, like Dawson's Creek. Anyways, let's get into this video. Sex in the City revolved around a group of four women, three in their mid-30s and one in her 40s, who despite their different personalities and changing sex lives, remained close and confided in each other. The series was criticized for multiple continuing storylines that involved relevant and modern social issues, such as sexuality, safe sex, promiscuity and femininity, while exploring the difference between friendships and romantic relationships. The writers had deliberately chosen four women in their 30s and 40s as a way of exploring social life from sex relationships through four very different individual perspectives. Nobody knew the show was going to blow up the way it did. In fact, after Sarah Jessica Parker had already signed the contract, she disliked the pilot so much she wanted to get out of the deal. She even offered to work in three HBO movies unpaid, worrying the series would ruin her career. So it's a good thing she stuck it out and never turned back. But honestly, if you go back and watch the first few episodes of the show, it's crazy how much it evolved. Number one, there you go. he's very handsome. Number two, he's not wearing a wedding ring. Number three, he knows I carry a personal supply of Ultra Texture Thanks. Trojans with a reservoir tip. Thanks a lot. Let's start with Miss Carrie Bradshaw, the nucleus of the show. After Sex in the City, Sarah Jessica Parker signed a $38 million contract with The Gap. It was the first multi-season contract in the clothing company's history, in which Parker was going to appear in their upcoming fall ads and continue until the spring of 2005. Parker released her own perfume in 2005 called Lovely, while in March 2007, Parker announced the launch of her own fashion line, Bitten, in partnership with discount clothing chain Stephen Barry. The line featured clothing items and accessories under $20. Parker released her second fragrance, Covet, followed by Covet Pure Bloom, Dawn, Endless, and Twilight. In 2014, she also started the SJP Collection, a footwear line at Nordstrom. She Instagrammed herself overstepping the chain residence on 66 Perry Street, put up to prevent overcrowding and unwanted visits to the now famous address to promote the line. Sarah went on to get other lucrative deals in the fashion industry, and much like her character Carrie, she's always had a passion for this. In in real life, Sarah's closet would probably be just like an even more jaw-dropping version of Carrie's. Parker returned to television for the first time since Sex and the City, portraying Isabel Wright in three episodes of the Fox series Glee. She starred as Francis in the HBO series Divorce, for which he was nominated for a Golden Globe Award. Since 2005, Parker has also been running her own production company, Pretty Matches, which has been creating content for HBO and other channels. We also did her house tour here on Famous Entertainment, so if you want to see how she's living with her family, be sure to check that out. Leek papaya patties and zucchini enchiladas. Mm. I'm gonna need a pizza after this. I'm gonna need a napkin to dry off my seat. That waiter was hot. 
Now let's see what wild and fun-loving Samantha is up to these days. Kim Cattrall was actually born in the UK and spent much of her life living in Toronto, considering she's a Canadian citizen like me. After Sex in the City, Kim stayed busy appearing in movies such as Ice Princess and found success through prominent TV roles like Tell Me a Story, Sensitive Skin, and more. It depends how you define hide. Oh, it's hiding. Don't kid yourself. Later in 2020, she starred in a drama series for Fox titled Filthy Rich. Though Cattrall published a book while starring on Sex in the City, she would go on to write two more after the show finished. Her books were called Kim Cattrall's Sexual Intelligence in 2005, and then in 2006, Being a Girl was released. Kim Cattrall had faced some adversity, and in 2018, she tweeted that her brother Christopher had disappeared in Alberta. She asked for public help in finding him. He was found dead several hours later, having taken his own life. When she posted the news on Instagram, she ended up having a feud with Sarah Jessica Parker online, confirming rumors that she and Parker did not like each other or get along. The drama between the real life Carrie and Samantha was always a hot topic in the tabloids, and now with the series reboot in the works, it still is. In December 2020, as reports came out about the reboot, Cattrall said that she felt lucky to be excluded from revival talks. Kim had previously slammed Sarah, claiming she was cruel, and suggested that her character of Samantha be recast in any future TV shows and films, but there are definitely two sides to every story, including this one. Shower. Yeah, relax, because once little Todd or Shayla comes around, you'll never stop cleaning up. Shayla? Did, did you say Shayla? It's so unique, isn't it? It's so my name. On a lighter note, let's talk about the good girl of the group, Charlotte York. After Sex in the City, Kristen Davis starred on Bad Teacher and voiced the character on Miss Spider's Sunny Patch Friends. She also appeared in several films, including Couples Retreat, A Journey to the Mysterious Island, and A Holiday in the Wild, a rom-com on Netflix I watched last year and actually loved. The actress additionally dabbled in theater, making her way to Broadway in 2012 for the Best Man revival, and her West End debut in the original stage production of A Fatal Attraction two years later. In 2011, Davis adopted a daughter, Gemma Rose Davis, followed by adopting a son, Wilson, in 2018. They reside in the hills of Brentwood, Los Angeles, California. And you might not know this, but Kristen is a recovering alcoholic and says she was introduced to alcohol early as part of her southern upbringing, saying, Alcohol freed me. I was really shy and I didn't know how to come out of my shell. I drank for the same reason I loved acting. I wanted to feel things and express myself and be free. And I'm not naturally that way. What are you talking about? Charlotte's boyfriend's balls? Seriously? They're too long. She's just guessing. Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. Finally, we'll talk about the actress who played Miranda, Cynthia Nixon. After Sex and the City wrapped, Cynthia went on to appear in The Big C, World Without End, and Netflix's Ratched series. Outside of acting, she ran in New York's gubernatorial election in 2018 against Andrew Cuomo, but she ultimately lost. Nixon has been an advocate for LGBT rights in the United States, particularly the right of same-sex marriage. She met her wife at a 2002 gay rights rally and announced her engagement at a rally for New York's same-sex marriage in 2000. Nixon went on to receive the Yale University Artist for Equality Award in 2013 and a Visibility Award from the Human Rights Campaign in 2018. In addition, Nixon is also a spokesperson for New York's Alliance for Quality Education, a public education fairness advocacy organization, and also has a history of advocacy in support of women's health. All right, and with that, I think I'll bring this Where Are They Now to an end. After checking out the cast members of Sex in the City, including Carrie, Samantha, Charlotte, and Miranda, uh, what did you guys think? Was there anything that I missed? I know we didn't get to see what Mr. Big and Aiden are up to these days, but the show definitely had a lot of notable characters. It's hard to keep track. If you'd like to see more of this series, be sure to let me know who's next in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all next time. Bye!